do you guys see this color? Like, it's, it's, it's the color. I love, I love it. It was the color that just spoke to me. One. Hey guys, what's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited about today's look. <laughs> I know I say this all the time, but you know, hey, it's fashion, so I'm excited. But today's video, I said I'm excited about today's look. I meant I'm excited about today's video, not the look, because there's a lot of looks. Today's video is all about summer outfits. Um, I wanted to put together a video that just kind of highlights different outfits for different occasions that we might attend this summer. So I've got some super dressy, sexy looks. I've got some fun date night looks. I've got some casual everyday outfits. We've got a denim look. We've got this dress, which I adore, which I style two different ways. Um, but there's just a lot of really fun fashion forward some are a bit more fashion forward, some are a bit more relaxed, but the idea of this video was to create outfits that we could all wear um, throughout the summer. So this is a really fun video, a lot of great pieces. Most of the pieces are from Zara, some are from Koss. I threw in an Alexander Wang dress in there as well. So yes, this is gonna be a fun one, so yeah. But before we get into the video, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I'm Moni and I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger. And this channel really covers fashion first and foremost, especially if you're into high-low fashion. I just love fashion in general, so I truly believe that I could take anything from any store, regardless of where it is, and make it stylish. And you guys have seen that, especially if you're following me on Instagram, you've seen me style Walmart, J. Crew, all over the place. I really just enjoy having fun with fashion, and I'm so happy that I can finally bring it to YouTube and share that with you guys here. So if this is your first time, and you like my vibe, and you're a fashion girl, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's odd by Moni because I feel like that is like, that kind of really catapulted my career as a fashion blogger and now a vlogger, or not a vlogger, but a YouTuber. Um, so definitely check me out on um, Instagram. Um, most of my collaborations are there. There's tons of style inspiration, especially if you need daily style inspo, just scroll down. I've been on Instagram from since day one, since it started. So there's tons of fashion there for you guys. Um, also, don't forget to check me out on TikTok. It's odd by money as well, because we are having tons of fun on TikTok. Who is it? So check me out on TikTok and check out my website, oddbymonica.com for your daily style inspo, for shopping links, for all that good stuff. So check me out. Now that we've gotten all the social out of the way, now that you're part of the so well, not the social fam, but now that you're part of my fashion fam, let's get into the video. All right, so first up, we've got this gorgeous dress from Koss. This dress is absolutely stunning. It's the color for me. You guys know I'm obsessed with green and yellow, so the color just drew me in. It's that beautiful Kelly green that's just absolutely stunning. I love the pleat detail of this dress. I love the length. I love the fact that you've got the button detail at the back so you can actually adjust the strap and let it hang. Um, for those of you guys who've been rocking with me for a little bit, I've said this many times. I don't include enough cost into these hauls, but I personally love cost. I love the workmanship. I feel like for the workmanship, for the fabric, the price point is just truly amazing. So I actually went into the store with a girlfriend who was visiting from out of town and wanted to do some shopping. I haven't been going into stores much lately, especially with COVID, but I went into the store, I saw this dress. I think she got this dress too, so I actually went back to get it because I, fi I figured, you know what, I could do so much with this dress, so I got it. It is a little tight through the bust, so if you decide to get this online, of course I will have shopping links for everything in the description box, but if you decide to get it, be mindful of the fact that the bust area is a little too t a little tight. Um, I would say I'm normally a size four in dresses. For this, I did a size six. The sales associate said to go up a size, and I did, and it was still a little firm on the bust, so I'm, I'm busty, but not overly busty. I guess for my, for my frame, I am a little bustier. I think I'm a, my, my size fluctuates. So I would say I'm about a 34B, 30, 32C. So that's kind of where I go back and forth with. Um, but definitely a full, on the fuller side. 
but I love this dress. I just think it's really beautiful. I feel like it's a dress that you can easily dress up or dress down. I wanted to just dress it up for you guys just to show you how much you can do with it because I feel like it's a no-brainer to put on a nice pair of slides or a great pair of sandals and you're ready, ready to go. Like it really speaks for itself. It does all the talking, especially with the color. But to dress it up, I um, styled the dress with my Geo Couture slot, um, sandals. I love these sandals. They're white and they've got that beautiful brown sole as well as that gold detail. And I feel like it just really elevates the dress. It complements the look, but it also pushes the dress in more of a dressier vibe. So I love it with that. I just think it's just so beautiful. But also to complement the green and to kind of play off the green, I introduced my Louis Vuitton. Alma bag and that mini and that beautiful neon green. It does a great job of complementing the dress and complementing the overall outfit without taking away from the look. And it just really steers the dress into a more dressier vibe. Um, also, I did my MM Lafer statement earrings. I love these earrings. I feel like they are a really beautiful addition to the overall outfit and it really brings in that white from the shoe. So you've got a little bit of white on the top and you've got a little bit of white on the bottom and everything just brings it all in together perfectly. So I'm here for it. I love it. I truly adore this outfit. I think this is a perfect outfit for brunch or even a summer wedding. You can wear this to that. So there's just a lot of ways to wear this dress. It's truly a beautiful dress. Love it. All right, so the next outfit features these two pieces from Zara. First of all, the shorts. I love these shorts. They are beautiful. They're actually, I was pleasantly surprised by the shorts because the fit was perfect. The workmanship, great. It's kind of like a linen fabric or it's kind of mimicking linen. It's, it's definitely not a real linen because it's overly thick, um, but it's just, it's beautiful. You, you do have a little bit of, you know, threads coming out here and there, but that can easily be snipped off. Um, and then $39.90 price point, you really can't go wrong with that. I did go up a size with this just because it's a higher rise and I didn't want it to squeeze my stomach to get like kind of that, you know, tire like rollover kind of deal. So I figured let me go up a size to accommodate my waist and accommodate my, my bum. So I went for a medium in this and I feel like it's a perfect fit. I actually did the medium. I bought the medium and the small just to be on the safe side. And I'm happy I did that because the medium is perfect. Love, love, love the shorts. Then this knit top. Knits are huge. We all know that. And then the multicolored knits are even bigger. I love this top. I first of all thought it would be rigid and it would be hard to put on, but there's a stretch, like the fabric itself is, it's almost like it's stretchy because it was super easy to put on, very comfortable. Um, I, I did go up a size in this. I did a medium, so I didn't have that much support with the girls, but you can easily wear body tape with this if you need that extra support. Um, it also has a beautiful peplum bottom. However, because I really wanted to showcase the high rise of the shorts, I tucked in the peplum, but you can leave it out as well, depending on how you want to wear it. I also wanted to dress up the look a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit more dressy. Um, so I tucked it in, which also lends to that dressier vibe. Um, but you can definitely wear it both ways. I just had a particular vision in mind. I would say if you wanted the look to be a bit more casual, then leave the peplum out and just let it hang over the shorts. Um, but yes, I love all the colors in this. I feel like this is a great transitional piece. Stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to do a lot more. I'm going to do a lot of videos that highlight transitional pieces and how you can take your spring summer looks well summer looks rather and transition them seamlessly into the fall so stay tuned i'm going to do those videos towards the end of the month and into september so but this is definitely a piece that you can transition into the fall season you can wear a blazer over it you can wear it as is if you live in a somewhat warmer climate like i do it still gets cold in atlanta but it won't get cold until maybe about like october november so you know we can definitely keep on wearing pieces like this but yes, I love this. Like, I was so impressed when I saw this. And this was me just going to the store, like, ski like just having a quick view. And the colors, all of that just kind of really caught my eye. And I'm happy I picked it up because this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, for the outfit, of course, we decided to dress it up. I figured, you know what? Why not make this a fun summer date night look? And I'm here for this outfit. This is really cute. Like, 
really really cute so to dress it up and to give it a date night vibe i introduced my manolo blonix and the mules in this beautiful green color just to really complement the amount of green that's in this look but without taking away from it and i think the shoes do a really good job of elevating the outfit definitely cementing it has a dressy dinner look i'm here for it i just think it looks absolutely absolutely stunning um in terms of a bag I did my Fendi first bag in this beautiful caramel in the small size. I just added this bag to my collection. I'm going to do an unboxing for the bag and I'm going to go over some of the details of the bag because um, if, you, if you've been eyeing this bag or if it's been on your radar, I would definitely say to contact your Fendi SA and, and pick it up. The workmanship, everything. Just immaculate but anywho this video is not about the bag so i'm gonna leave that for you guys to check out that video which will be coming i think that's the next video that goes live after this video so make sure you watch it but anywho the bag does such a great job of just elevating the outfit and it just looks so good um i kind of use the warm of the warmth of the top to really introduce the caramel and it's also a really great neutral in the bag so it would look good with everything and anything really and as you continue to watch this video you'll see some of the different ways that I styled the bag but I feel like the overall look everything just looks beautiful it is a great dinner look it is a great look to meet up with friends if you guys just want a night out on the town well a night out on the town <laughs> and you just want to look cute and different why not I feel like this is just the perfect outfit and I'm here for it oh I almost forgot with that look I did my Dior um, my Dior sunglasses in a tortoiseshell kind of to you know really complement the brown or the caramel of the bag and I love it works do you guys see this color like it's 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 the color I love I love it it was the color that just spoke to me when I was in store and picked this up. And it is absolutely beautiful. If, well, it, it's definitely, the color's translating in the viewfinder, so you guys can, you know, it's just, it's so pretty. This dress is from Zara. It is $69.90, so awesome price point. Great fit on this dress. It is a linen eyelet type deal you've got the little eyelet details you've got this beautiful hem um which is just stunning you've got the floral patterns you've got the um, there's a particular name for this type of hem and I, it's not coming to me right now when i was shooting it i remember but i can't remember now so but it's a beautiful hem absolutely stunning i love the length of this dress it's just a great summer dress. Like this is a dress that I feel like will live in your closet forever. There's no need to get rid of it because this silhouette of a summer dress is just classic. It's timeless. The color is amazing. It stands out and it makes such a statement. I truly adore this dress. Um, I taped, uh, well, I didn't, well, I did take them down. I used body tape for my bust so I didn't have to bother with the straps or anything. Um, and it was perfect obviously if you're well not obviously but if you're gonna use um, body tape you want it to make it a little lower so the top doesn't show um, I got this dress in a size small so it was a perfect fit uh, maybe a little tight on the girls but I felt like I needed it to be a little tight just for the support um, I love it I love it I feel like this is another piece that you just throw on and it's magic like you don't really have to do much. The dress does everything for you. Um, I did keep the dress ca um, casual this time around. I didn't dress it up or anything, so I'm keeping it a little bit more casual, but of course, we have to elevate our casual looks. So I introduced these beautiful Dior slides. They've got green in them. They've got a little bit of black. They've got a little bit of peach. They've got gold. And I just feel like they do such a great job of elevating this casual dress, but making it very casual chic. Uh, in terms of a bag, I brought out, this is an oldie but a goodie, I brought out my Givenchy Antigona bag. Um, this is a small size if I'm correct. I, and I haven't carried this bag in a long time, but I felt like it was just perfect with this dress to create a very fun, somewhat monochromatic green look because, you know, the shoes do have other colors other than green, but I'm here for it. I adore 
adore this outfit. I also just did my plain gold hoops with the look to kind of just, you know, complement it but not take away. And then I did my Dior sunglasses as well, just to, you know, because we need a fabulous pair of sunglasses to kind of, you know, elevate this, well, just to complement this overall fabulous chic. I'm strolling on a summer day. I'm going to the mall. I'm on vacation and I just want to look fabulous. Look so I'm here for this look. I love this dress. If you guys consider this dress, I would say two thumbs all the way up. Get it. You will love it. You will wear it forever. On to the next. All right, so the next look features this beautiful denim dress from Cost. I love this dress. Okay, story behind this dress. I love the Prada denim dress, and I'm sure we've all seen it because it's been everywhere. Everyone's picking it up, um, but it's also really hard to get a hold of, and it cost a fortune. So I figured, you know what? When I was in Cost, I saw this, and all I could think of was that whole Prada vibe with denim dresses, and, and I was just like, I, I need it. I need it. I'm actually even, there's a blog post about denim dresses and why you need to jump on that trend. So make sure you check out my blog post. But yes, the dress is everything. It is so comfortable. I can't even deal right now. Like I love it. I love the length. It's a midi length. I love the fact that you've got that curved or curved hem and it kind of has a bit of a high low on the side. And then the back is slightly longer as well. It is super comfortable guys like I could wear this all day it also has pockets so that's a plus um, but yes this is just a fabulous dress to have so I styled it two different ways and you guys let me know which you know look is your vibe which one you would rock I know it's a little hot right now for the second option but regardless of the temperature like just which look would you would you prefer or which look would you rock I would love to I would love to know but anywho back to the outfit First look, I'm pairing it with my Prada dad sandals because you know it's like the Prada vibe. So I'm doing my Prada white dad sandals because I just feel like they look really fun and cool with the look. And this is definitely for a more casual summer day. I also left the buttons open so I can get some air. Even though it's um it's very loose and it's it's denim, but it's actually very comfortable. And it's about 100 degrees here, and I did shoot this outside, and I was okay. Of course, after a while, you start to get hot, but for the most part, it's pretty good in terms of like you're keeping cool and all of that. Um, but yes, I introduced the Prada Dad sandals, and then I also introduced this really fun hat that I got from Cost. I love this hat. I think it's so much fun, um, and I feel like it really complements the overall outfit and the overall vibe I was trying to go for. Um, in terms of a bag, I did my Dior Bobby to just really pick off all the white and ivory in this look and to just really make it pop, and I think it just looks absolutely amazing. This is a fun look. This is a fashion-forward look. Maybe not necessarily for everybody, but I feel like everyone can give it a try. Why not? It's just fun. It's fashion. So have fun with your fashion, especially this season. Um, I really love this look. I think it's absolutely fun. I would wear this to the movies, to a host of different events. I just, I love it. I adore it. But so we switched things up a little bit because I really wanted to create that whole, you know, Prada kind of look. So I introduced my Prada shoes with this, um, that thick log heel. Um, I still want to get the loafers. There's a loafer version, so I might get the loafers as well. But then Dior has, oh, Dior has some loafers coming that are like the Prada ones. Um, and they go perfectly with my Lady Dior, so I might get those two. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to get one. I'm not going to get both, but we'll see. Anywho, <laughs> back to this. Yeah, so I did them with the Prada shoes, and I did these socks. They're so cute. They were gifted. To, the socks were gifted to me from Sweaty Betty, and I love them. Um, and I just feel like it really complements the overall look and the vibe that I was trying to go for. Um, and I'm here for it. It's super fun, super easy to wear. This is definitely a great transition look. Um, also, I did my Fendi first bag and I'm wearing it as a crossbody to kind of you know cinch my well not necessarily cinch the waist but make it a little bit more narrow this dress is very full um and it's straight so you know in order to kind of make it a little bit more narrow I'm wearing my bags has crossbodies to take it in just a little bit either that or you can also wear it with the belt I was gonna wear my Loewe belt with it but I really didn't want that that wasn't the look that I had in mind I want this to be casual and to be comfortable. So I'm doing, I did the Dior Bobby with the sandals and now for the shoes, I did the Fendi first bag, but wearing it as a crossbody to just kind of make it a little bit more narrow and come, 
have the waist come in a little bit more. It's just visually more appealing, in my opinion. Um, but you can definitely wear it both ways because I feel like the dress is just fabulous on its own as is. But to kind of, you know, add a little bit more of a fashion flair, you can always do those little, you know, add those little details by wearing a smaller bag or even a regular size bag has a crossbody to make you look a little bit more narrow. But yes, um, what else did I do with that look? Oh, I introduced my Tom Ford sunglasses to kind of, you know, add that cool factor. And I'm here for it. I love both ways. So regardless, you know, I feel like you can't go wrong. But I, like I said, I'm really curious to know which way you would rock, which way is your favorite. So, but yes, love this dress. <laughs> On to the next one. All right, next look. This top from Zara. I, I didn't realize how cheap and cheerful this is. It's $17.90. Like, this is the cutest thing. I love it. I feel like you can do so much with a cute little crop top vest knit like this. Like, it's just so much fun. I love all the colors that are in here. Um, right as I saw all the colors, I just thought of my Bulgari bag. So I introduced that. I thought of the pink. I could have done my pink Chanel. There's just so much you can do with this. This would have looked great with white shorts or whatnot. There's a whole host that you can do with this. A lot white shorts, a skirt. But I actually wanted to do something a little different because I don't, I feel like I don't include enough denim. I really don't. So I'm including denim. I paired the beautiful top from Zara that we all need to get. I got it in a size medium and I actually really needed that medium because I needed more of the length. The small would have been a little shorter and I don't like showing too much midriff. So I'm um, going up a size. I went up a size. So if you're like me, if you don't want to show too much of your, of your waist, then go up a size. But yeah. Anywho, I paired um, the top with my A Goldie jeans. I love these jeans. Um, I just feel like they're a little bit dressy from your everyday jean. You've got that thicker band. It's that carrot silhouette that kind of, you know, billows. Um, is a little bit more of that billowy, not necessarily billowy, but fuller on the top and then narrow at the bottom, basically. Um, and I love, I love these pants. I love the pleated detail. Not pants, well, jeans. I love the pleated detail. I adore them. I adore them. I got the jeans in a size 27. Um, I'm kind of between sizes. I'm normally a 26, but I've no, well, COVID. <laughs> so let's just say I'm a 27. So that way it sits nice and, you know, flat. It's not, you know, too tight around my waist or I'm not getting that fold over or whatever. So great fit with this. The two look great together. So I wanted to dress it up and elevate what would have been a very casual laid back look. So I introduced my match and match shoes. These shoes are everything. I love them. Um, if they didn't cost a fortune, I probably would have gotten another pair. And mind you, even if I wanted to get another pair, I can't seem to find my size. I am a 40. I think I got a 42 in them. I can't remember. But I love the shoes. I feel like they elevate anything you put them against. You know, there's pink on the shoes. They look great. And they, you know, pair well with the pink on the top. Um, also, in terms of a bag, I did my, my, I did my Bulgari bag. I'm truly tongue-tied today. Um, I'm getting ready to eat, so I'm just like trying to get this done so I can go eat. But yes, I did my Bulgari bag, the blue, perfect match to this. It just brightens up the whole look. And the fact that I wanted this to be somewhat of a casual dinner look, I feel like all these elements together just look absolutely fun and beautiful. And I'm here for it. I, like I said, fashion is meant, you're meant to have fun with fashion. So, you know, looks like this just really are fun they're playful they're they're just i don't know the look makes me smile i hope it's making you guys smile too but anywho love this outfit love the look i love it i hope you guys love it too now let's get to that next look all right so this outfit consists of these two fun pieces that i got from cost I figured, you know, we're not only dressing up the summertime or going for brunches or whatnot. We do have very casual, very laid back occasions that we just want to look cute, but you know, we want to feel casual. So I got this tank top from Cost, which I absolutely love. I love the fit. I love the color. Another, you know, color is just, mm. and then the shorts, really fun. Um, nice high, well, it's not too high rise, but you've got that elastic band, you've got the slip pockets, and it's just a beautiful orange. I love, I just love the colors together, and I think that's kind of what 
you know, drew me into these pieces were the colors. And they definitely reminisce my Fendi Sunshine tote. So I was like, oh, these colors are perfect. I could wear them with my Fendi Sunshine tote on a more casual day when I'm running errands or if I need to go to the mall or if I just are going, if I'm going to a friend's house or whatnot. These colors, these two pieces would look great together. And as you guys can see, they look fabulous together. In terms of shoes, I did my Marnie slides. I, I love these shoes. I know they were on my worst list of, of purchases that I did for 2020, only because there were little stitches coming off. But at this point, I can't return them, so I might as well get my money's worth. So I, I truly, I do love the shoes. I feel like they're a classic. Um, and I, I might just have to get them fixed sooner than later. Um, it's just when you're spending that much money on items, you definitely don't want them to start falling apart without really wearing them anywhere. But anywho. I still love the look. Um, did the shoes, did the Fendi sunshine tote. All the colors just complement each other and it's just such a rich outfit. It's a very simple, very casual look, but it looks really good. And this is something that I feel like everyone can wear just to run errands. Because we're running errands, because we're you know meeting up with friends or we're going to more casual events, it doesn't mean you shouldn't look good. And it takes you the same amount of time to put on a sweatshirt to put on these two pieces or you know or a pair of leggings so instead of going for the overly simple or overly you know almost boring route do something a bit more fun and interesting and add some color to your wardrobe and thank me later <laughs> oh sunglasses i did my dior sunglasses for this look as well and yeah i love it it's 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 fun i love it on to the next So this little look, this sexy look here, features this beautiful red top from Zara. I love the color, like it's so pretty, it's so vibrant. And then I love these sleeves. How fabulous are these sleeves? I love the smock detail, which is a huge trend. Smock dresses, smock tops, huge trend right now. You can't go wrong with it. The beauty of this top is you can have the sleeves up the way I did, or you can have the sleeves down. I opted to have the sleeves up. Um, the idea of this outfit was to kind of, you know, have something that I could wear to dinner, so I have the sleeves up. Really fun piece, love it. Price on this, um, $29.90, you can't go wrong with that price. I did go up a size, I did a medium in this because I really wanted to make sure I was comfortable with the girls and I wanted that extra length. So I feel like pieces like this, if you want them to be a little longer, especially if you're planning on wearing it with something that is you know, a little higher in the rise and you wanna leave just a little bit of skin out, definitely go up a size. So I went for the small, the medium rather, and it's a perfect fit. I paired it with this skirt that I got from Nordstrom um, when I did a collaboration with Nordstrom. I think this was from earlier this year. I can't remember. Actually, I got it for the collaboration, but it didn't come in time, so I didn't actually even feature, feature the skirt. But after trying it on, I decided to keep it anyways because it was just absolute, it's absolutely amazing. Beautiful knit skirt. Um, I will definitely link something similar in the description box. But you kind of get the idea of this look is just to pair this fun, vibrant top with something that's a nice pretty neutral but that also does a great job of complementing the t you can open a few more buttons if you really want to be very risque <laughs> but yes i love this outfit together i mean i love these pieces together absolutely sexy absolutely stunning and then just to really play off of the whole sexy factor i did my brother's veil um white feather detailed um sandals I love these shoes. I got them last year. They sold out last year. I'm not sure if they're back in stock. If they are, I will link them, but I kind of doubt it. I know I found some other shoes that had that same feather detail, um, and if they're still available, I will definitely link it. But I just really wanted to pair this outfit with a pair of shoes that were also very sexy and just kind of really complemented the overall vibe of this outfit. And clearly we did a great job with that in terms of the shoes. In terms of a bag, I did my Lady Dior. Um, I love the red color. The red is obviously, it's not a perfect match for the top, which it doesn't have to be, it's fashion. But also adding that really allows you to add or introduce different colors. So I feel like it works perfect together. I love it together. Great dinner look, very sexy, easy to wear. Well, it is a little clingy on the, on the skirt's a little clingy on the waist. So if you are not a fan of 
pieces that are too tight I would just say to have something that's a little bit higher in the rise in terms of the skirt and then just a little bit more of a flare so maybe a linen skirt or whatnot I will definitely make sure I look for options similar options and put them in the description box so that way you guys have an idea of different ways to wear it. you could also wear the top with a pair of high-rise trousers that are a little bit fitted through the waist to about the hips and that flare out I feel like that'll really look good with the top and it still you'll still have that elevated dressier vibe but just with a pair of pants so yeah all right so last but not least this amazing dress from alexander wang of course i had to close out this video with this gorgeous gorgeous dress um, for those of you that follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you've probably seen a similar version of this dress, but in blue. I wore it, oh, and actually in my vlogs as well, I wore the blue version of this dress for a magazine shoot. I'm getting a really cool feature um, in the Atlantan magazine. When it comes out, I will definitely share with you guys. But I wore the blue cotton version for that shoot. Absolutely love the dress so figure flattering, so beautiful on that I just, I think someone asked me about the dress in the comment section and in looking for the link for her, I saw this one in black and it is in this wrinkled silk material. This one was actually, I think it was a little bit more expensive, but it was like 80% off Net-a-Porter. I got a Net-a-Porter sale. Is a size four and it fits. The one that I had in the other video was a, a six, but um, I think I'm actually, you know, beginning to lose weight again and getting back to my normal size. You guys know, because I think I've talked about this. I even did a vlog and I was talking about my struggles and my, you know, stomach and all of that. So check out that vlog. But I saw the black on sale. I think it was like two something from like $900 to like two something. So you know, I had to get it. I don't even know where I'm going to with this. I don't know where I'm going to wear it to, but I'm like, this will live in my closet until I find somewhere. I know I will find somewhere to wear this dress because it is absolutely beautiful. I paired the dress with my Chanel earrings. They're black and gold, and they've got the um, pearls. So I figured, you know what, the white pearls, they look amazing. I use that to introduce my white sandals with that feather detail again absolutely gorgeous outfit i adore it. i just feel like this is so sexy without being overly clingy without doing any of without doing a lot of the stuff that i'm just not comfortable with even though i do i work on my body but i'm just not comfortable with things that are overly clingy for me i admire people who wear very fitted dresses but whenever i wear them even though i believe once you put an outfit on and you leave your house I'm always still self-conscious. Like that's the only time you'll find me to be self-conscious, but you'll never know. <laughs> you'll never know. I just told you guys and you know now, but for the most part, when you see me out wearing a fitted dress, I, you know, but anyway, back to this. <laughs> I love this dress. I love this outfit. It is absolutely stunning, very sexy, very short. So you have to be comfortable with that. But I would say that even though it's short moving around, I was fine. I never felt like, oh my God, you know, something showing or whatnot. There's just so much. There's so many details to this dress. It's the idea of, of it is that it's a shirt, but it's deconstructed. And then you've got the buttons, which technically don't really open. I think the only the first button opens up. And then you've got the button detail on the hem, um, which doesn't open up as well. You've got the ruching panel on the side. There's a zipper at the back, but there is a little opening. Um, it kind of, I, when I got it, and I figured probably that's why it went so low on sale, there's a few stitches coming out, but I feel like this is something that I might just take to my seamstress and have her fix it just because I love this dress. It's also, because of the silhouette and the detail of it, it really makes your waist nice and small. So I think that's really what it was for me because it just makes my waist small and then you got that off the shoulder, like the details are just endless. This is why I love Alexander Wang. Like all things Alexander Wang, I've been a fan for years and years and years. I just feel like the workmanship and the price point is amazing. Considering the amount of the level of detail that goes into this sh his shoes his bags his dresses I feel like they could definitely charge a lot more, but 
I'm happy with the lower price because that means I can afford it. <laughs> but anywho, love this dress. Um, in terms of a bag, I did my Fendi first clutch. I just really wanted to add something different and not just make it a black and white look. And it works perfectly. I am here for this outfit. It is everything. I cannot wait to actually wear it out. And I'll definitely let you guys know. And I'll let you know what event or whatever I'm wearing it to. But this, everything. Everything. I love it. Love it. Oh, also, let me know. I'll insert the picture of the blue one. That's a picture of the blue one. Which one do you guys prefer, the blue or the black? Let me know. I know that the blue one is selling out. I'm not sure if this one's still available, but I know there's another version. It's pinstriped as well. So I'm just going to link all the versions that I can find of the dress in the description box. It is a little pricey. So I would say, you know, if you have a special event or a nice dinner or somewhere that you just really want to show up and show out, this is it, so I'll link it for you guys. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are my looks. Summer outfits for every occasion you might attend this summer. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. Let me know where you're going to this summer, where you would wear it to, all that good stuff. Let's have that conversation in the description box because I love, you guys literally leave the best comments and I'm so appreciative of, of it. I get so much good advice. I get just great feedback and I really, really appreciate it. Considering I'm somewhat new to this platform, I really feel like this has just been such a great experience thus far and hopefully moving forward, you guys will continue to be so gracious with me and I really, really Really, truly appreciate it so thank you um, thank you for watching thank you for liking because I know you guys liked it because you're my people um, for those of you that are new thank you for watching the full video um, don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss a video because I do post pretty often like I said in the beginning this is a fashion channel first and foremost I do share my travels I do share a little bit of my life and my vlogs um, my kids and all that good stuff and my girlfriends um, I'm trying to get one of my girlfriends to come on so we can talk bags. I have a particular girlfriend, if you're watching, come on. Um, and we both are obsessed with luxury handbags. So hopefully she can come on one of these days and we can just talk about our favorite bags and whatnot. But yes, so make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you check out my Instagram page. It's odd by Moni to get your daily style inspo as well as TikTok. Don't forget to check out my website, oddbymonica.com. I put so much work and money into my website because first and foremost, I am a blogger. That's where this whole thing started for me. So make sure you check it out. There's tons of shopping links, tons of style inspiration. Um, if I'm correct, no. The Nordstrom sale would be done. I would I would have told you guys to check out my Nordstrom shop page. We've got a shop page for Nordstrom. We've got a shop page for Instagram. There's the What Would Money Wear page. There's tons. So check it out. And till next time, love you guys. See you guys later. Bye.